Welcome to this 5D timeline meditation. And this meditation is really about strengthening your conscious choice to step onto the highest timeline and releasing all lower timelines, especially those being artificially created right now by dark forces that are not in alignment with your soul's chosen destiny of awakening and service. An open body, open mind. And focusing on the cycle of breath. On the in-breath is the invitation of light into the physical body, the bones of the body, the joints and vertebrae of the body. Light into the bones. Anywhere you are holding lower energies or frequencies from the 3D world, Surrender on the out-breath, sending it back to the light, back to the universe. Allowing more light, more space in your physical vehicle. And on the in-breath, inviting light into the blood of your body. The blood. The blood cells of the body. And on the out breath of purging and releasing of older energies, especially ancestral energies, that's not in alignment with your soul's chosen destiny. Sending it back to the light. And breathing light on the in breath into all organs and systems of your body. And again, the invitation is to purge on the out breath, all lower energies, sending it back to the light. Following that cycle of breath, I call to you, your team in spirit of the highest light and resonance, your higher self, your monadic self, the oversoul, all helpers, guides, 5D to 12D helpers, guides, angels, archangels, star beings, star races, all specialist teams in spirit working with you. Come be with you now. Come be with you now. And feel the shift, feel the connection to your team in spirit, the unseen friends. And let's call the Archangels of the Horizontal Plane, beginning in the East with Raphael, Archangel of Air. The symbol of this angel is a crystal wand. And the energy of this angel is emerald green fire calling now that fire into your space to hold the space. Emerald green fire into the space. Let's call to the south to Michael, Archangel of the Element of Fire. The symbol of this angel is a sword of blue flaming light and the energy electric blue fire. Calling that fire into the space to hold the space, your space. And to the west, Gabriel, Archangel of Water. The symbol of this angel is a silver chalice or cup. The energy diamond white fire. Invite that fire into the space to hold the space. Hold the space and open and breathe. To the north is Uriel, Archangel of Earth. The symbol, a golden pentacle. The energy, ruby red fire. Invite that fire into the space to hold the space.
for angels, for energies and open. Let's call to the vertical force angels, beginning with Metatron, Archangel of the Great Central Sun, to bring down the golden white light of the Great Central Sun through the stargate of our sun. Down into the space, the building you're in. The walls around you the door and windows around you, the floor beneath your feet, the ceiling above your head. Closing off the space. Let's bring that energy down through the head down through the crown that opens. Down through the third eye that opens. Down through the throat that opens. Down to the heart that opens, anchoring into the heart. allowing all chakras from the heart upwards to align with the great central sun and breathe. And let's call to Sandophon from the crystalline grid of the earth below to bring that light up, diamond white light up to the room, the space you're in. the feet, the legs, base chakra opens, sacral chakra opens. Solar plexus opens. And anchoring this energy into the heart, allowing all chakras from the heart downwards to align with the crystalline grid of the earth and open. Six angels, six energies and open. And I ask your higher self and team in spirit to begin to activate the timeline you're currently on. Your current timeline. And this timeline may appear before you as a path, a road, a highway, perhaps a stream or a river representing the timeline you're currently on. Trusting your first impressions, go towards that timeline. If it's a path, stand on the path. If it's a stream, you can stand in the stream or just beside the stream. Find the path or stream or river. Notice how it looks and feels. A sense of flow or lack of flow a sense of color, of vibrancy or lack 
of color and vibrancy, a sense of stability, solidity, or a lack of stability and solidity. Just notice the path or stream or river or highway. Standing in the present moment, turn to face the past. One way will represent the past. Turn to face that direction. And in this path, there is a golden thread that leads all the way back to the womb, a golden thread. Feel that golden thread. And begin to journey back along the path. Journeying back along the path, perhaps finding a way of journeying quickly, a magic carpet, a skateboard, a spaceship. Journeying back along the path and noticing there are places on the path which may seem broken or dark. In those places, let's call angels of light. Calling angels of light to begin to build a bridge over the dark part or over the broken part. And sending light, allowing them to send light deep into any darkness, releasing any darkness in the path. releasing it back to the sun, allowing the path to be cleared, mending the broken path, and then go back further in the past. Anywhere you find the path broken or dark, place a bridge of light over that place, mending the path and pour light into the darkness. Releasing the darkness from the path. Clearing old traumas, old memories, old energies out from your timeline. And doing this going back through the years, young adult years, and adolescent years, child years, you as the young child, all the way back to you in the womb, the end of the path. Mending the path all the way back to the womb. And when you've done this, begin to return back the way you came, back to the present moment.
standing in the present moment, facing the future. Facing the future. I ask your team in spirit to invoke the highest timeline of light for this lifetime. Step along the path of the future and you'll come to a choice point. And that choice point will either continue the way it's going, which means you're already on your highest timeline, or there'll be a slight divergence, a slight divergence. That timeline will look brighter, lighter, more solid, more stable, more enticing. There may be a little bit of fear about stepping on that timeline, but that fear is also excitement. Notice where the highest timeline of light for this lifetime joins your current timeline. Stand at that choice point. Release all other choices that leads away from your highest timeline. Invoke a thread of light along this highest timeline that leads all the way to your passing from the physical body into spirit way in the future. Feel that thread of light leading you forward. Inviting angels to fill this timeline with light, to guard the boundaries of this timeline. If there are any agreements that conflict with you taking this path, that can be now be released. Call those agreements into your hands as scrolls or parchments or sheets of paper. And destroy them. Rip them up, burn them in the light of the sun and release them through all minds or bodies or timelines or dimensions. All energies connected to them. asking for a great healing concerning these agreements, a resolution, an integration of all lessons concerning these agreements. Stand on the highest timeline and take a step on that highest timeline, allowing the path to lead you forward, to lead you forward. Noticing if there's any place of difficulty or challenge. Perhaps the path narrows or is obstructed. Call angels of light to resolve everything on your path. Make the path solid and open.
and let's call members of your soul family that you have agreed to meet in this lifetime, that stand on this path somewhere in the future. Feel their energy calling you forward. There are agreements that you have made before this lifetime to resolve certain things, to heal certain things, to learn certain things, to serve in a certain way. Call those positive agreements now into your hands as scrolls. And integrate those agreements into your heart. Bring the energy of those agreements into your heart. Allow them to be absorbed in your being. Continue along the path. There are certain high vibrational situations that you will meet along this path. Go and feel those situations, experiences. There are certain qualities that you've come to amplify and experience and articulate and express in this lifetime. Perhaps abundance, perhaps joy, perhaps love, perhaps play, perhaps adventure, perhaps community, perhaps leadership, perhaps creativity. Go find the energies of those qualities on this path leading into the future. And let's call the energy of a future self, you as a future self, two years, perhaps three years along the path, to come and meet you along this path. and see walking towards you a being of light, a being of light. This is your future self, two or three years along the path of your highest destiny. Feel the energy of this being, the vibration of this being, the light of this being, the power of this being. 
the qualities of this being. Feel the radiance of this being as you in the future. This being is you that's made consistently the highest choices along the timeline. Ask your future self for guidance and then just open to receive the answer. Perhaps through a voice, perhaps through just an inner knowing, perhaps through images. and open and if you wish you can step into this higher self merging with this higher self merging with its light you the future self of two or three years down the line that has consistently made the highest choices Merging your mental body with the mental body of your future self. Merging your emotional body, your heart, with the emotional body of your future self. And notice the path goes ever onwards, ever onwards to the horizon, to the point of passing, the point of passing. If you wish, you can travel further along the path, perhaps on a magic carpet, going all the way along the path, noticing all the high vibrational situations, the soul family, the energies of qualities you're going to meet, going along all the way to the point of leaving the planet, following that thread of light. And here noticing that you can leave with joy, you can leave the planet with resolution. You've come and done what you've promised to do. You've completed the journey. And then turning and facing the past, your past from this future point. And journeying back along the path, all the way back to the present moment, noticing the light in this path, the power of this path, the opportunities of this path, the possibilities of this path.
coming back to the present moment. And step off the path, this timeline. Step off it and notice it now from a different point of view, looking back along the past and towards also towards the future. Seeing this path as being strong and light-filled and stable and vibrant. Turn away from the path and come back. Aligning all the energy of your future self back into your present physical vehicle. Allowing that merging to take place, bringing back all the wisdom and light of the journey. And breathe and open and soften and relax. Thanking the angels of the horizontal plane and the vertical planes for holding you. Thanking your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance. And this meditation is offered you, as always, with love and blessings. Love and blessings. <laughs>